Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Facebook Open Graph Search. You know, that big white box, that big search box at the top of Facebook. We're gonna be doing some queries. And some of those queries will result in data sets which you can use for various reasons. You could use it for a uh, marketing, to obtain leads, uh, to connect with like-minded individuals, to find out more about the audience that you have, like on a page or a group. So let's get started. So the first query I did was women who like the page International Security Driver Association. And I was uh, just interested in this. You could do men, women, uh, people who like the page, people who do not like the page that I'm friends with. You could do a whole bunch of different queries, but I thought this was just a, a simple test. And you get a nice little list here. Now let's take a look at another one. This one I did, uh, people who work at international associations of chiefs of police. And uh, here's another list that I could take a look at and, and connect with these people that are interested in uh, policing. Uh, we have a page about policing, police driving. And so maybe I could connect with these people or connect with my page to these people. Uh, so it's a good list to find out how many people who are work at IACP and I can connect with them. All right, let's take a look at another one. People who are not my friends and work at Microsoft. So you get a nice long list of people who work. There's Bill Gates right there. He's on Facebook. Uh, you get a nice long list of people who work at Microsoft. Now let's go to another one. Groups joined by people who like International Security Driver Station. And so these are people who are in other groups who like the International Security Driver Association. And so I get a, an idea of what groups uh, my fans like. And so we get a nice long list here. So that's something I'd like to know about. And the last one I did was people who work at International Security Driver Association. And I was very perplexed, to say the least, to find people that actually don't work at International Security Driver Association. Like Mr. O'Neill here, or Mr. Sampson, or Mark Anthony Dagulian, Ashgar Wally. None of these people work at our company. So I got to thinking, hmm, can anyone in enter a business entity for where they work. And so I went on a search to find out if this is actually true. And what do I find? Here's a person who's asking the same thing. How do I prevent Facebook users using my company as their workplace? We have Jade from the Facebook help team who says, there is no way to prevent people from saying that they work for your business. Are you kidding me? Now, this is a little strange to me because anybody could say that they're working anywhere. So let's say you're a recruiter and you're looking at someone's Facebook profile to see where they've worked or what they post or any of that stuff. And on that Facebook profile, that person says that they worked at Microsoft. Okay, so maybe you have to do the extra step and then contact Microsoft to say, did such and such employee work for you? And then they find out the answer is yes or no. But the preface is, the answer is yes. Why would anyone lie? Why would anyone say that they work at some place where they don't? So while the queries are good on the surface, you have to look a little deeper to find out if actually the people are working where they say they are working. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get notified when other videos get up on YouTube, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.